So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem to niggas is ballin' and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JRob447 back at it again with another NCAA Football 14 UNCW Dynasty. In this game, we're going up against the Old Dominion Monarchs. It is another home game, and as you guys can see, you know, we're doing pretty well this season. We haven't had an episode in a long time, but uh, if you guys catch up where we left off, we definitely were doing pretty well. We came off a win against Vanderbilt, so that was pretty good. So hopefully we can get another win against the Monarchs, but I do know someone who did go to to Old Dominion, she does not go there anymore, but she did go for her freshman year, she says she liked it, it was a, it, Old Dominion is a pretty big school, I, I know it's in Virginia, I know they recently got added into the Division 1 FBS level, like about 3-4 years ago, or something like that, and, um, yeah, that's all I can say about them. Uh, Kent Bazemore went there, but he plays basketball. Uh, I don't really know much about Old Dominion, to be honest, alright, but, Either way, we're going to get this game started. We're going to be receiving as Old Dominion decided to defer to halftime. So, Jordan Robinson back there to return four yards deep in the end zone. going to take it out. Risk it. Finds a little edge. Trying to get to the 20. And he does get to the 20. A 27-yard return. That's, that's good. I like it. So, second and 10 for the Seahawks. We pick up six yards on that one. Third and four. Devin Moore dropping back. Looking. Rolling to his left. He's not going to find anyone. And today it's raining. So it's it's going to be a hard day to uh, pass the ball today. So you guys see the Monarchs come out on the field for their first drive. Washington's going to drop back to pass. And he's going to tuck it and run. Green grass in front of him. Picks up the first. But no. He fumbles the ball. And Burton gets the fumble recovery so first down and 10 for the Seahawks starting out yet again Devin Moore he's gonna take the carry and he's gonna pick up nine yards on that watch on the QB read so third and one for the Seahawks Devin Moore is gonna take this one up the gut and picks up 15 yards and I'm not trying to copy off of Miles Dawkins but you know I've been watching this video for a pretty long time now so you know it's it's, it's just a habit okay so Devin Moore dropping back to pass finds D Andre Roth for the 21-yard reception. So first down and 10 for the Seahawks. Hester's going to pick up three yards on that one, making it second and seven. And this is going to be a play action. Devin Moore rolling out, but he fumbles the ball as Jimenez picks it up. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. You know, I, you know, you know, I'm not Hispanic, but I know how to pronounce Hispanic last names. And that looks like it's Jimenez because, you know, in Mexico, they, they pronounce it Mexico. So Jimenez, I mean... Just think about it. Just think about it, bro. But anyway, we did get the ball back as the Monarchs couldn't do anything with it. So Hester picks up seven yards on that one. First down and ten for us yet again. Devin Moore dropping back to pass. It's going to find Tim King for the four-yard reception. So now we go to the Wildcat as Jordan Robinson comes over. He gets the carry, and he has some green grass in front of him. And he's going to pick up 21 yards on that one. Making it first down and 10. Devin Hester, I mean, excuse me, Devin Moore is going to take the carry. And he gets into the end zone. That puts us up 6-0. We strike first. That's what we had to do. All right. We're here in front of our home crowd. We're going to be away game next game. So, we this is our last home game before we go on a little road trip. So, we got to make this game count. And Tim King, he's definitely having a good game so far as he gets another reception so Devin Moore dropping back to pass again finds Tim King yet again looking like his primary target for the eight yard reception this time around so Hester takes the carry picks up six yards on this one making it third and four with 538 left in the second quarter Devin Moore dropping back to pass almost found his man Cooper but he just cannot hold on to it. So that's going to bring up a fourth and four. But you know we like to rail the dice. And Devin Moore is going to throw it up there. And that gets intercepted by Davila. Davila? I believe that's his name. Either way, turnover. It's not what we like. That's two turnovers for Devin Moore so far that you guys have seen. And oh, but another turnover this time. It is Daniel Sanchez with the interception on P.J. Washington. I believe that's the name. It might not be P.J. Washington. I might get that confused with a player who's actually going to Kentucky next year. But ooh, Devin Moore. I mean, he's not throwing the ball that well this game, but he's definitely running it. All right, he is definitely running that ball. And ooh, what a spectacular catch by Jordan Robinson as he held onto it after he got leveled. 
So Hester, he's throwing the ball, and he gets intercepted on that one. I I don't know what was going on. Was that like a trick play? I, I completely missed that, to be honest with you. So uh, Washington's going to take the read option. He's going to pick up four yards on that one. So, hey, the Monarchs are threatening with 344 left to go in this first half of action. But Ray Lowry gets tackled in the backfield as Brendan Page is in on that one. So Washington drops back again. He's rolling to his right. He's going to find his receiver, Pascal, for the touchdown. Zach Pascal gets the 20-yard receiving touchdown as David Washington score, uh, throws for a touchdown. So the Monarchs do get the ball yet again, this time in plus territory with a minute 29 left to go. Third and four, the Monarchs going to throw it up there too little. And Little comes big with that catch, giving the Monarchs a first down. And Washington's going to pitch it out to Ray Lowry. And the Monarchs score yet again. So momentum is definitely shifting in this game. We have to do something fast. We got to do something fast. All right, a minute 19. Let's see what the Seahawks can do with the ball. And with one second left, we couldn't, we couldn't do anything. So the Monarchs got the ball back. Washington is just going to throw it up there for the Hail Mary, but that's going to be intercepted by Nigel Reed, and he's not going to pick up any yardage on that one. So we're going to go into halftime losing 14 to 7. Not a good look whatsoever. Honestly, we got to work we got to work harder. We got to work harder if we want to win this game. We got to play harder, got to play smarter. All right. Things things just not working out right now. They're not working out right now. So we got we to gotta continue what we were doing, running the ball. And as of passing the ball, we got to be a little more conservative. But Devin Moore off to the races yet again. That's his second big rush of the game. So we're going to keep doing that read option because it's working. And Hester, he is just, just trucking forward. Just, just, just. Just trotting forward, all right? And Devin Moore is going to take the read option. He's going to pick up the first, and this is going to be a touchdown as well. A 13-yard touchdown rush for Devin Moore. So that ties the game up 14 apiece. And, oh, oh, Devin Moore making some nice cuts. Devin Moore has space. He sees nobody in front of him. 20, 10, 5, touchdown for the Seahawks. We're just running. We're just running right now. The Monarchs, they can't stop our run game. They can't stop the read option. I told you Devin Moore is dangerous. So Lowry gets the ball, and he's going to get tackled in the backfield. Our defense is coming up big. Our offense is starting to click. So Washington drops back the fast, finds Little, and he's going to be a little shy of the first down as it is a fourth down for the Monarchs, and they will have to punt it to us. But, yep. So far, so good in the second half of action, as you guys can see. With 2.26 left in the third quarter, Jordan Robinson takes it. And he's only going to pick up about seven yards on that punt return. But, hey, if we can get another score in on this drive, then we'll definitely be controlling this ball game. And Hester, he's still running very well this game. So now we're finally going to pass the ball because, you know, we got to mix it up. We can't be too predictable. And DeAndre Roth... Uh, holds on to it to get us the first down. So we're going to run the ball a little more because it's been working for us. If it ain't broke, you know how to finish that sentence, okay? So third and eight, we have to pass the ball. So we go five wide. Devin Moore dropping back to pass. It's going to find his man Lee Merrick over the middle for the first down. A 38-yard gain. Big play after big play, and Devin, I mean, excuse me, Vernon Hester, I want to say Devin Hester so bad, but Vernon Hester, excuse me, picks up eight yards, and Devin Moore is going to spin off a defender and picks up six yards for that one. That was shifty, oh my goodness, but Vernon Hester, he's going to nearly get into the end zone with that one, getting up to the one-yard line on that eight-yard rush, and Devin Hester is going to plunge forward on the QB sneak. To get us another touchdown. And I believe Devin Moore has four rushing touchdowns today, guys. I believe he has four. All right. He might have three, but I think he has four. And Huckabee, one of them Huckabee, them Huckabee triplets, baby. You got to watch out for him. So that was another turnover for the Monarchs. They had to give it up. And Vernon Hester, he's still running well. But. It's second and six. I decide, let's, why not throw in a little pass play, a little wrinkle. And DeAndre Roth, he only picks up one yard in that one. So Devin Moore dropping back to pass yet again. It's going to find his man Lee Merrick for another big gain. Lee Merrick is having himself a day, a day out there on that field. And Devin Moore, what can I say? He's having himself a day running. 
not passing so much, but running the ball, he's just doing what he has to do. And so has Hester. I mean, look at those jerseys. So dirty. That's We got to get dirty. As Kipnis says, Jason Kipnis, get dirty, okay? And a passing touchdown. Just a little cherry on top for the Seahawks. And you see Devin Moore, not that impressive throwing the ball. But when it comes to running that ball, four touchdowns on the day running the ball and that's just Vernon Hester not giving up on that one but with 54 seconds left it's a third and 12 Devin Hester I mean excuse me Devin Moore is gonna find DeAndre Roth yet again so on a fourth and one 26 seconds left Devin Moore is gonna find DeAndre Roth yet again for the first down and with seven seconds left to go we're just gonna try to run out the clock on this one as Vernon Hester stays in bounds and the clock will wind down to zeros and we will win 35 to 14. But look at the yardage by Devin Moore compared to the rest of the team. Outstanding. Five touchdowns. Five total touchdowns. 13 for 25. Didn't do so well throwing the ball. He did have one interception. He did fumble the ball. But four rushing touchdowns. Four. 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 I. I. That's unprecedented. Okay, that's something JT Barrett can do. That's some I, I haven't even seen Braxton Miller do. That that's impressive, honestly. He and he's only a freshman. Freshman. Just imagine what he can turn into. 211 yards as well. Let's not forget about that. But Vernon Hester, he was chugging. He was chugging out there. DeAndre Roth had a pretty productive day. So did Tim King and Lee Merrick as well. And defensively, our defense came up in that second half. Can't get mad at them. Cannot get mad at them. The Huckabees came to play this game. And don't forget Sanchez with his pick. But anyway, this has been another J-Rod video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace. When I touch a mill, I'ma be the same dude. Split the money with my gang too. And we be swerving in that Audi coupe.